Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials by clicking on the subscribe button and do remember to click on the notification bell icon to get instant notifications. Hey guys, so it is finally, finally here. One of my favorite custom ROMs based on the latest Android version for a device that is making waves since the time of its launch. We're talking about Resurrection Remix for the OnePlus 5T based on Android 8.1.0. The version of the ROM has bumped up to 6.0. Now, the reason I'm so pumped up is because it comes with a lot of features and I've heard good things about the Resurrection Remix for the OnePlus 5T. Now, there's also a Resurrection Remix based on Nougat, which I'll be checking out in a couple of days as well. At the same time, we're gonna check out Lineage OS 14.1 based on Nougat, built by Sultan himself. So that's gonna be a lot of exciting stuff. So these are the three videos coming towards you in the next two, three days. So that's today. Resurrection Remix and in the next couple of days Lineage OS and Resurrection Remix for no good. Without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials, let's install and preview Resurrection Remix for the OnePlus 5T. Hey guys, welcome to the channel and another video and this time it is Resurrection Remix based on Android Oreo. So without further ado, let's begin with the installation process. This here is the latest TWRP Universal by Codeworks. We have wiped everything including the internal storage but then again right now we're gonna wipe and do a factory reset. Alright, so the factory reset is done and we're gonna go to install. First, we're going to install the Open Beta 3 firmware because that is the first thing that is required no matter what ROM you're on. It just takes a couple of seconds. I would suggest you flash it first. Then we will go ahead and flash the ROM itself. That is RR Resurrection Remix. So I'm mighty excited to try out this ROM. I am you know, very, very happy because this is one of the greatest ROMs probably of all time because it has a lot of customization it has proven to be relatively stable for whatever device it has been ported to and they are excellent maintainers uh, notice this, this particular video is not sponsored by them in any way but then again yeah I like the features and uh, it, it's basically the holy grail of custom ROMs uh, especially after what happened to Cyanogen mod a few years back uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good to see Resurrection Remix on the OnePlus 5T because that marks a new beginning for the custom ROM era. And uh, I have been going through the thread, so there are a few bugs like the camera not clicking amazingly awesome pictures and stuff like that. But then again, nothing which should stop you from using this ROM as a daily driver. And that's the reason I'm excited. So looks like we are almost done installing this particular ROM and the last thing that we need to install is Google Apps. There we go. So a couple of things here. First things first, uh, the link for Google Apps is mentioned in the description. You can download the micro or nano, one of the two because that's, that's the one that works. And if you want to root Resurrection Remix, install the ROM, Google Apps and uh, Open Beta firmware. So once you've installed these three things, let the phone boot let it complete the first boot, set it up and then maybe reboot into TWRP and then you can go ahead and install Majesk and you should be good to go. So there we go. Google Apps is almost installed. It's funny it says installing face unlock but then again I couldn't find it in settings earlier when I had given it a try. But that's fine. It's okay to miss a feature or so. Couple of things that I really miss in custom ROMs is the camera quality and uh, face unlock so let's go ahead and reboot system let's see if it boots up or not and uh, let's see how the new boot animation for resurrection remix is now that it is based off android oreo all right is it just me or you guys love the new boot animation as well i really don't know i mean it's beautiful it's just beautiful so when i saw the boot animation for resurrection remix for the first time in my life I just loved it guys, I just loved it and I think I'm falling in love all over again. Will you be my valentine? Yes, she says. <laughs> Alright, so while it is booting up, uh, I'm gonna quickly, you know, skip this part and we will directly go to the part where 
the rom installation is complete the setup is done everything is sorted and i will give you a quick preview of resurrection remix for the oneplus 5t stay tuned here we go in three two one all right so now that we have the rom booted up uh, we will just go ahead and have a look at the goodies what the hype is all about and why this rom is so special for a lot of people and why is it, why is it so special for me as well right off the bat the first thing that i would like to talk about is it comes with a pixel like launcher now these are the apps that I have installed otherwise it comes pretty pretty bare bones and as I said I'm using it since this morning that is the reason you see all my you know user based apps installed and stuff like that um, talking about the battery life let's see what the battery life has to say because that is the first thing I always have a look at last full charge was around six hours and 19 minutes back and that gave me a screen on time of two hours and three minutes and we still have around 56 uh, percent left so this usage happened from I think 80 or 85 percent so theoretically the battery life is as good as stable oxygen OS which is around five to six hours of screen on time is what I get that was about the battery life now what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go to settings and we will begin a preview like we always do we will go to system and we will go to about phone and we will see this is android 8.1.0 and this is rros version 6 does anything happen if we multiple tap on it or press and hold on it no nothing really happens so this is android audio for your information if you are not aware of it already now that's all fine and good uh, what else do we have here we have languages and input we have system profiles automobile silent so that's that's more of a sound profile and stuff like that that's okay that we have date and time and uh, we have factory reset and stuff like that so let's go back to the main settings menu here we start with network and internet connected devices now what really matters here is configuration because that is where all your customization comes into the picture so there is a whole lot of customization because that is what resurrection remix is known for so clock and date you can choose the am pm style you can make sure it is hidden that's that's how i like it i have kept the clock in the center you can keep it at the right or you can hide it all together you can choose to show seconds here and the date but that clutters my status bar so that's not something i like you can also change the font size now the reason i'm doing this is because people who are new to custom roms they can have a look at it get a feel of it and decide whether they want to go for a custom rom or not now let me just increase the brightness a little bit for you guys is that better yeah that's definitely better all right so uh moving on apart from the clock customization we have network traffic so right now you don't see any you know uh upload download speeds if you just enable it there you go very very small things and it automatically hides itself so that's another neat feature notification ticker so you have status bar notification ticker and notifications and music ticker so you can enable that so it basically counts your notifications and then we move on to the battery customization you can have a battery bar you can have a battery bar say green color there you go so that's the battery bar at the top so if you want you can go ahead and uh, all together remove the battery bar or you can remove the battery percentage and you can choose the alignment center mirrored and then you have reversed so stuff like that is really really beautiful you can have the charging animation enabled you can change the battery color changing color and stuff like that so that is about the battery customizations for now i will disable the battery bar because that is not something that i usually use um moving on we have status bar weather so show with temperature scale and image let's see what we get if we do that probably i've not enabled it properly but then again this allows you to enable weather um there you go yeah so that's your weather and then we have brand logo now this is something unique um if you go ahead and enable it to the left you see a resurrection remix logo will stay here at the top left hand corner always now that uses up my precious space so i'm not going to use that um system icons voice over lt you can enable or disable it 4g you can enable or disable it 
no sim network hide and stuff like that so it's basically customization which you don't get in a stock rom now status bar gestures you can double tap to sleep there you go okay and you can control the brightness using the status bar as well but that's not something i do usually so that's okay uh then you have carrier label you can go ahead and enable the carrier label in the status bar so it would tell you airtel geo whatever your carrier is and you can customize it as well so that's another options but i would choose to keep it disabled because again it takes up the limited status bar space that we have and then if we move on to panels if you enable this so these are different panels or custom headers that you can have apart from that you can customize the volume panel with so many options so that's neat and then you have the option to increase or decrease the opacity of power menu or reboot menu and stuff like that and if you go to notifications you have first expanded notifications disable immersive mode messages and stuff like that so that's your panels now next next up we have quick settings quick pull down a quick pull down is something you can try there you go okay moving on um then we have recent so that's another way of customizing thing recent style okay this is one of my favorites probably button style let's try this you see this button has changed and if you circular checker box there you go so it keeps changing there's a lot of customization option available okay okay all right there you go all right background color memory bar and whatnot there's a, there's a lot of customization over here if we go to interface fingerprint settings fingerprint authentication vibration again something that i really really like and oneplus should include it I, I think they have done that in the audio update and i'm glad they did because i don't like the vibration when when we unlock using the fingerprint blur personalizations you can blur the user interface or background and stuff like that blur status bar background there you go blur recent apps there you go So that's another good customization uh, display size you can change the DPI uh, heads up dashboard what we have in dashboard okay so that's your dashboard there theming okay system UI theme let's try to switch to dark did anything happen yeah all right so that changed the theme expanded desktop call vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting and stuff like that so the whole idea or the reason why i am so excited i like this rom so much and others like this rom so much is because it has a lot of customization and along with that uh, the features are there and this rom seems to be pretty stable for daily use the only bug that i found was that uh, wi-fi refused to connect uh, once or twice but then again i had to forget my saved Wi-Fi network and then reconnect so it worked fine and if you click an image using the default camera it uh, comes upside down but then that's also fixed using uh, what do you call Google camera mod so that's fine now even with the Google camera all the settings enabled and stuff like that let me tell you uh, it refused to open up the front camera for me at times so that is a bummer miscellaneous show floating button battery saver color three finger gestures swipe three fingers to get a screenshot and stuff like that sensor block pre-package block access to certain sensors for some apps to save battery that's another good thing so that's the customization your lock screen security you can go ahead and change a lot of security settings reboot advanced reboot oh my god so that's a lot of beautiful customization and i really really like it you can change the lock ui weather button shortcuts and mid screen shortcuts and next up we have buttons so you can choose what to do with your navigation bar button pocket detection and stuff like that navigation navigation bar mode you can use fling there you go okay so that's fling for you and then you can change the complete animations you have gesture anywhere app circle bar pie so this probably is the most feature rich rom 
when it comes to customization about resurrection remix and another thing let me show you um okay so this is google camera okay so this is what happens when you click using the default camera this is how the picture comes uh, it, it it's rotated 90 degree fine i don't know what reason now this is the portrait mode you can see that the lines are very very clear on the subject and the background is slightly blurred because i didn't take it from a very very far off distance um so that's about the camera and that's about the rom overall it's very very fluid i did not face any major bugs all right i did not face any major bugs at all which should you know define or consider us as not a daily driver so guys a link for this rom and everything else that i used in the installation process is included in the description if you like this video like share and subscribe and do share your feedback if there is anything that you want me to change about the rom install and preview videos also the giveaway for the xiaomi redmi 5a is on if you want to win that phone Subscribe to my channel and follow the link in the description to find out what all steps you can follow. At the same time, nice talking to you. Thank you for your time. See you in the next one. Goodbye.